here with Adam. Adam, what's your thoughts coming off the back of Tuesday night? Yes, obviously, um, good performance, I thought. Um, real, real good game. Uh, tactically, uh, we had to be spot on, and I thought the boys implemented the game plan really well, um, which, which was good. Uh, the effort, the endeavour was, was excellent, and like I say, we've got, got to take that into Saturday now. How pleasing was it to see the likes of Finn Stevens dealing with a, a winger that's been signed by PSG from PSG for four million and just and just coping with that? All the players actually coping with the opposition like this. Just a standard Saturday game. It was, yeah. Like some of them really raised their game, and um, that was the key message. After whatever, uh, however they got into that frame of mind for that game is how they've got to get into now for the rest of the season. And I think they showed um, not only. Just, just work ethic and, and stuff like that. But there was a lot of quality on on show as well. Some of uh, like Finn's defending, Joel's defending, it's tenacious, um, you know. And and with that, we backed it up with some good players as well. So yeah, for for everybody, they set a standard. I thought um, in our play and yeah, the the um, the plaudits and everything. And a lot of fans have been messaging me and you know board members saying how proud they were of the team and the performance and. Um, you know, so so as I watch them play is real sort of endeavour, and like I say, that's that's all you can ask, and that's what that's what any sort of player wants to see from their team. And how important is it to take the Tuesday performance into the last nine games of the season, and and uh, yeah, obviously build on and, and hopefully push for promotion. Yeah, if only it was as easy as that. That you know, you, you're going to get that week in week out, then you know you'd be really confident. But w with the young group that that we've got. It's, it's hard to see that consistency. Um, you know, people said to me about Carl Rushworth, and you know, the key thing for me that has stood him out in the last few weeks has been his consistency for someone so young. Um, they show glimpses, I think, uh, of what they can do, but then, for whatever reason, the consistency is not really there in, in young younger players, and um, that's the key sort of message now that we set our standards in terms of how we play and, and it's important that we, we maintain them um, but that's easier said than done they've, they've got to get themselves in the right frame of mind I thought like mentally they was just so switched on for the game and that's how we've got to be How frustrating is that that obviously they can come to you tonight play so well but maybe over the last two or three weeks performance performances haven't quite been as at that tempo from your point of view as a manager that must be very frustrating Yeah um, performances have been okay it's just uh you know, mentally, whether it's uh, uh, a burden on the players playing at home in front of a big crowd or whether the pressures of being the team that's top of the league, it's, it's them kind of pressures, I think, more than the actual performances because I think once we've scored a goal against Potters Bar, everyone seems to relax. And so it's important that we don't have that kind of pressure on us. And, you know, that's, that's going to be the key thing for me, I think, now in, in the remaining games is... Um, you know, to be more of a flipping psych and deal with their mental side, to get them relaxed and to enjoy it, enjoy, enjoy what they're doing, enjoy playing in this this team and enjoy playing in front of this these crowds and enjoy, you know, all the publicity and everything that goes with being top of the league. Um, a lot gets made of it that the league leaders you see and people putting on Twitter and stuff like that that the league leaders are coming to town and stuff like that, but. No, that's that's stuff to be embraced, and like I say, the mental mental side of the game uh, is going to be important for us in the running. In the mental side of the game, is that something that you can help implement, or is that does that have to come naturally with them in terms of experience, or is that something that you and the coaching staff can actually slowly implement them into them, um, so obviously they can move on moving forward? Into this yeah, season? I think uh, you know just our our demeanour. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't think we we change too much on what we do. No. Um, you know. Um, raging if we lose and on the sideline anyway so I've been like that all season so um, you know, I like to think that we haven't changed too much in, in what we're doing but just to yeah, just keep keep showing them that we've got belief in, in what they do and um, it's yeah something that if they do want to progress up the leagues uh, they will have to deal with and, and get better with but um, yeah it's a, it's a hard one to you know, you can't just go and take a, a magic pill that's going to um, get you in the right frame of mind. It's something that, like I say, you, you, 
learn with uh, over through experience and over time, really. Some massive performances on Tuesday night. Well, how about Jack Fagan stepping up and going in between the sticks for us? How was uh, how did how did he react to that? And what's his feelings at the end of the game? Yeah, I think he's tired, really. Uh, you know, he's not quite the same shape as it, what he was, but that was an excellent performance, wasn't it? A um, couple of great saves in there, but just what he brings to the team in terms of how we, we play out from the back. Um, I thought he added something to our game um, with that, and I'm sure Carl will be looking at it going, oh, you know, that's something that I can be a bit more calmer and, and play out. And um, Oh, he's excellent. Obviously, he's a big, big fan favourite. Um, sort of had Jack... Uh, when he was like 17, 18 at the club playing as number one for me and liked all his attributes then. So I knew he, he would embrace embrace the game and it wouldn't be a problem and he wouldn't be phased by it. And um, yeah, just getting fit over the summer now and we've got a goalkeeper on our hands for next season, hopefully. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So it's Tuesday aside, let, moving on to Saturday, Wingate finished at home. What's the uh, what's on the agenda tonight at training? What's your, your thoughts ahead of Saturday? Yeah, obviously... With Saturday and Tuesday, 120 minutes for a lot of the, the team, those lads will be doing a very light sort of session. Um, and then, yeah, we do uh, analysing um, the game. Lucky enough, Brighton have been very good to give us their footage um, so we can analyse it. They um, got the, the uh, equipment and everything that you would have at a Premier League club. Um, so yeah, it was lucky to get that footage, and we we'll analyse that and, and see where we can get better. Um, but also, also learn from what they did well. I thought their one-touch play in and around the box was excellent. So that would be uh, a main focus for us tonight in training. And what about Wingate and Finchley? For people that don't know the team, what are they? What are they all about? Yeah, we actually uh, went two 0 down up at their place um, and had to change shape, and um, that was the catalyst of us going on a bit of a run really going to like a 4-2-3-1 um, and it was midway through that game that we changed it um, lucky enough it worked and people seemed to gel and, and look comfortable in those positions um, and yeah and from that we went and got a 3-2 win but you know they went and beat Folkestone last week so they'll be full of confidence and if if we think that we're playing a team that's in the bottom half that it's just going to be three points guaranteed, then we're in for a shock because you know the, there's no game like that in this league. Um, you know they they proved that they can go to second and I think the second bottom beat second top uh, only last week. So um, yeah, we'll obviously be fully aware of that and make sure that, like I say, we get in the right frame of mind, same as what we got into Tuesday and um, try and be as positive as we can and, and try and take the game to them like we always try and do at home. In a league where anybody can beat anybody, how important is it to take each game as it comes and, and not to underestimate anybody, even as you say, Wingate down the bottom of the league? How important is it just to kind of take it step by step, each game as it comes and, as I say, not and move on to the, the week after? Yeah, I think that's like vital, really. So, um, you know, when we come in and we hadn't picked up many wins, it's something that we focused on then as well. Um, you know, we didn't get carried away when we got our first win. It was all about that game's gone, and, and we focused fully on on the next one. And we tried to keep that approach um, last season, um, and and again this season um, seems to have worked well for us so far. So we just keep on that same vein. We keep analysing and see where we can improve and get better. Um, you know, we've got to entertain the fans a little bit more home in terms of shots on target and stuff like that but I can promise them it's not through a want of trying you know we're trying our hardest to to be better and be more entertaining and our subs are always quite positive we try and bring on attacking players that can impact the game and stuff like that so but you've got to, sometimes you have just got to credit the opposition um, they set up and make it difficult and they get the first goals it's it, you know it can happen in football we see it in the Premier League um, no one to give Watford any hope at home to Liverpool and they managed to get a result so um, it, it's what can happen but we just got to like I say keep focusing on our seed keep on improving our game um, yeah like I say just take it into each game so you're coming towards the end of your second full season with the, with the club um, how far I know we, you don't like looking back uh, as a person but how far has the club come since the day you first took over on and off the field how, how, how has the club grown since then 
Yeah, quite quite dramatically in terms of off the field, we obviously set up an education program. We set up a 14, 15, 16. So it's something I'm, you know, with Aaron and Cam, really proud uh, of what we've done there, really. And we've got some real talented boys uh, in the youth set up. And, you know, I, d I do enjoy going to the games on, on a Sunday and watching them play and seeing them perform and seeing all the teams play in a, a similar style. Um, you know, that, that, that side of it's been massive. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's just continued progression from each season and uh, I think we've achieved that in terms of like the youth set up the, not that you're worried about results in, in youth level but the, the standards getting better I think we've got two cup finals now uh, under 18s and under 16s in a cup final mm. I think 15s and the 16 can possibly go for the league title with the 14s as well they can all go for the league title so that's all we're trying to do and um, you know the first team are getting uh, most of the plaudits this season for what they're doing, but we're really proud of you know what we have set up as 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 a club. Really, you know, we've got all all these teams, and we look forward to uh, the recruitment when it when it happens in May. And we're recruiting for you know five teams uh, under 19s, 14s, 15, 16s, and a first team. So um, yeah, really really sort of proud of what we achieved there and. Yeah, on the pitch, it's you know you've got no better uh, guidelines than league position and and the points you gain. So we've managed to do that from each season, and that's what I wanted from when I come in. Really, just keep on progressing from season to season, and um, you know, no, no, it's going to be a challenge. Sooner or later, it can stagnate, um, but we're going to try to keep on progressing, and and that's all we've done. Lastly, any injury doubts for Saturday? Uh, Lloyd and, and Tutty still still struggling. Um, other than that, I think everyone's hoping just going to go and check on them all now, but patched up nicely from Tuesday and um, be ready to go. Um, so this stage of the season, it's it's quite a good uh, bit of health to, to have. And you know, Parso will be back involved. Obviously, Jesse is suspended. Um, so yeah, and, and I thought. There's one or two younger players now. Ahmed's doing really well in the 18s and 19s and, and Ty. They're doing well and pushing and training with the first team group now. So we're sort of extending it there as well. So seeing how they're doing. So really pleased with the, the, the squad we've got available. And like I said, there can't be no excuses. Don't have two injuries at this stage of the season. Okay, thank you. Nice one.